In this short video tip, I want to share with you the procedure for doing a quick systems test on a parallel glow plug system on an older Mercedes diesel. This system first showed up in 1978 in the W116 300SD. Suddenly the glow plugs were different. They were no longer wired in series. They were now a pencil type of glow plug that's wired in parallel. And this continued on. It started out in the 123 series in the US model in 1980. And then it continued on up, you know, well into the 90s using pencil style glow plugs wired in parallel. Now these are powered with a relay. So anytime your diesel won't start, we get emails like this all the time, and this is particularly important as winter approaches. This is part of my pre-winter inspection uh, to get my diesel ready for winter driving because bad glow plugs, weak glow plugs, can literally leave you stranded when the weather gets cold. So if your engine is showing signs of hard starting or not starting at all, one of the first things you want to do is you want to do this quick systems test. The first thing is you want to look inside the Glow Systems relay box. And most of these are located right here uh, on the uh, left front inner, inner fender panel. Remove the cover and they all have at least up through the early 90s, they have a strip fuse that's located right here. And this strip fuse, believe it or not, I've seen at least a dozen times where this strip fuse has cracked. That's right, it hasn't burned out, it's just cracked. And it may make contact, and if you push on it, you'll say, wow, it's moving. And this happens in the winter because it's probably a combination of metal fatigue engine vibration and cold temperatures which cause this little strip fuse to crack. You also want to look for corrosion at the screw heads and tighten these screws down. That's the first thing. If this fuse is blown or burnt, then it probably means you have one of the glow plugs shorting in the engine and that's why it burned out. If it's cracked, it, that may be the only problem and all you have to do is replace the strip fuse. Once you have determined that the strip fuse is okay, then you're going to use a little 12 volt test light to see if you're getting power, if you're getting power to the glow plugs. Uh, that's the first thing you need to do. If you're not getting power, if the relay's not working or there's no 12 volt power going to the glow plugs, you certainly don't want to go out and start buying new glow plugs and, and other parts to try to fix the problem. Now the easiest way to test this is with a very inexpensive and simple little 12 volt test lamp. You can also use a meter. And a meter is handy, particularly a good meter, because it can uh, show you the health of each individual glow plug. So let me show you how this works. You take um, one end, the clamping end, and you clamp it to a good ground on the engine. Now, we'll stop there. I'll go in and turn the key on to the pre-glow position, and then we'll come back and I'll show you how to use the meter to check if you're getting power at the glow plugs. Okay, the key is in the pre-glow position and I'll just reach down with the point of my 12 volt tester and touch the tip. Look at that, see, I'm getting light. I'll do number one. I've got a light. Do number three, nah. Sometimes you have to kind of get around here. Okay, I got a light on three. Test the wire on four. Come back here and check Number five, look at that. I'm getting power to all five glow plugs. So right away I know that the source of power is not the problem here. Okay, let's reflect on that test. Let's say you do it on your car and the test light does not light up. And you're sure the fuse is good, then it's probably a bad pre-glow relay. Uh, very seldom do you have a power problem to the relay, it's a direct line that's hot all the time. You can take the main um, electrical, it's a heavy line coming in the, and you can put your test meter on that to make sure you have 12 volts coming in to the relay like you see here. Look at this, see I've got a solid light showing that I have 12 volts coming into the relay. So if you've got 12 volts there and you don't have 12 volts showing up at your glow plugs, then you can be assured that you have a problem with the relay. But let's say you do have 
the test light light up on your car, and, but it still won't start. Well, that's where the challenge begins. This is like the beginning of a, a big wrench dance, or it can be a little wrench dance, depending upon the particular problem. You're gonna have to find out, well, maybe you don't have fuel, or maybe you have the wrong type of fuel. I have a number of resources on my website, including video manuals and PDF downloads that will help you solve the problem if your diesel engine won't start and you have successfully completed this uh, quick check on your pre-glow system. So be sure and check out my website. There are specific PDF manuals available for complete testing because you're going to have to now, if you have fuel, you're going to have to test your individual go plugs and you're going to need a good meter to do that. And my manuals explain the type of meters that you're going to need, the particular readings and how to get the readings on each glow plug to find out if the glow plugs are burned out or on the verge of going out. And if you know, it could be, it could be bad compression. I mean, if your engine has poor compression, doesn't matter how good the gold plugs are, it doesn't matter how much fuel you have being delivered to the fuel injectors, the engine's not gonna start. So it becomes a challenge to narrow the problem down with proper diagnosis. Please, and I'm going to repeat, please do not ask, well, what parts do I need to fix this? You cannot believe the number of horror stories we've heard from people say, well, I bought these new injectors and I bought these new glow plugs and I bought all this stuff and they found out the engine is worn out. I mean, this, is, this happens all the time. So please do proper diagnosis before you buy parts to repair the problem. And in order to do proper diagnosis, you're going to need the information and the resources. Uh, and this is way more than could be covered in a video. You're going to need to narrow down the problem. Is it fuel related? Is it electrical related? Is it internal in the engine? And you can go to my website. We have a huge tech help section. You just type the problem. All you need to do is go to our tech help section. You can type in the problem. You can type it right in the box. Diesel engine won't start. You can select your year and model, and it will literally take you to all the resources that I've made available for you diesel owners out there to help get your engine started and then running smoothly over the long haul. To do a real thorough test of the glow plugs themselves, you're going to need a good volt ohm meter. Now you can purchase these for about $10, but I recommend you get a, a better one, maybe 50, 60, up to $80. That's about the, uh, the price of a set of glow plugs. So this is really something you need to have in your toolbox if you work on your own Mercedes Benz. The testing procedure is a little elaborate. In fact, you may be thinking, well, Kent, how do I even use one of these? So what I've done recently is I did a complete, full-featured video manual on the introduction to automotive electrical testing, which includes learning how to use these meters to troubleshoot common problems on older cars. It doesn't even need to be a Mercedes-Benz. So be sure and check out that resource. I have many other resources on my website. I have advanced glow plug testing procedures that can be purchased as a PDF so you can download them directly to your computer, you don't have to wait when you're really trying to isolate a glow plug problem. So if you're having troubles with your old Mercedes diesel, be sure to go to my website and I highly encourage you to use the tech help section. You can actually use a solutions finder which I've created, which will allow you to type the problem that you're having in a box in your own car and then when you hit enter, it'll take you to all the resources we offer to help you troubleshoot common problems with the parts and kits and manuals you will need to fix them yourself.